take two. I'm going to take a quick minute here to talk about recirculating showers. I get a lot of questions about that. My viewers commenting, saying, what about it? What do you think? How come you haven't installed one? And uh, I can tell you that I've thought about it. And I actually started to design a system. And if I were ever to do a recirculating shower, I've got an idea in mind that's a little bit of a different twist on what's typically being done. Uh, and it was not an original idea of mine, but I digress. Uh, in my opinion, all of this is my opinion. The day-to-day -day use of a recirculating shower is disgusting. Now, let me explain. Not day-to-day, -day, but here's my, here's my take on it. You've got, say, three to five gallons of water, and you circulate it through a series of filters and possibly a UV light, right? That's how you take your shower. Nice. Periodically, you've got to clean or change those filters, okay? They're canister filters, cartridge filters, sediment filters, whatever the case may be, water flows in through the filter out to the next canister. You know what I'm talking about. I had a whole house filtration system in our last house. I installed it and, uh, oh, we thought it was the greatest thing since sliced bread. Look at that, we got clean water. I don't feel any grit. Oh, we're living large. Then the water pressure started to drop. Wow, what's going on? Filters were full, they were clogged. So now I gotta go clean the filters or change them out. Oof, not good. And that wasn't a recirculating system. We're just filtering city water coming in and it's going down the waste. Here, you're recirculating through those filters, okay? So you've got soap scum, you've got urine, You've got dead skin cells, you've got fecal matter, and God knows what else is in that shower. It's not pleasant. It's not pleasant maintaining a recirculating shower system. And typically, you're gonna, where are you gonna put those filters? Because I know from personal experience, when you unscrew that canister, there's a gush of water that comes out with it each time. You have a triple filtration system, three times you're gonna get a gush and it's that water, soap, scum, hair, fecal matter, right? Uh, or you're gonna put it in here in the back somewhere, and now you gotta put it in a, a catch tub that'll drain out. It's not pleasant. And in my opinion, it's not worth it. Because again, uh, when you become a van dweller, okay, certain things become priorities, and certain things that were priorities are no longer that important. And a nice, hot, long shower, long shower, you can have a long shower in a van. Go to Planet Fitness. Go plug in at a, a campground because periodically you've got to plug into a campground anyway. You just want to chill for a while. You want to do some laundry, whatever the case may be, plug in. So you go to a campground and you take a nice long hot shower. In the van, you're better off looking at it as a convenience. Yeah, I can get a quick shower and I can get cleaned up and feel great. You got plenty of hot water. We've already covered that. Rather than a recirculating shower, I would opt for more fresh water capacity, okay, in terms of weight and space, uh, and then take my showers at the Planet Fitness or at a campground, or a friend's house, whatever the case may be. Van dwellers' lives are always changing. They're fluid, they're dynamic. <clears throat> You'll come across a nice hot shower, you will. But to put it in the van and have to deal with those filters, <clears throat> just my opinion.